I am Professor Dr. Vivek Gupta. I am Senior International Cardiologist in Apollo Hospital, New Delhi. I am working here since 1998 and before that I was working in France in Hospital Charles Nicole Ruma, which is one of the prestigious institute of France. And they have done a lot of new innovations there. Uh, so I have almost an experience of more than 20-25 years. Uh, my expertise is uh, related to coronary angioplasty, coronary stenting, coronary angiography of course, sometimes pacemaker implantation and also devices for heart failure. And also very important is transcatheter aortic valve implantation. And this is known as TAVI in brief. And this is unfortunately still not available routinely in India. But I have experience with working with Professor Alan Trivier, who is the innovator and father of this technique, and which is a non-surgical treatment of aortic valve implantation, and which is a which is a replacement, almost a replacement for surgical aortic valve replacement, which is done with the open heart surgery. So I am going to speak upon this topic today. So I repeat, I am Dr. Vivek Gupta, working in Apollo Hospital, New Delhi. So today, I am going to speak upon transcatheter aortic valve implantation, TAVI, which is a very important technique. During last uh, almost 10 years or 14 years, it has been developed. It is a routine practice in Europe, especially for high risk patient. So let me introduce what it is. Transcatheter aortic valve implantation is a non-surgical technique where with the help of a catheter, a bioprosthetic valve goes and gets implanted at the site of diseased aortic valve. And normally this procedure is, this, this disease is treated by a surgical aortic valve replacement which is done by a cardiac surgeon opening the chest and opening the heart as well and then replacing it with a new valve. It can be stainless steel valve or bioprosthetic valve when we do it surgically. But when we do TAVI, it is bioprosthetic valve. The procedure which was developed in 2002, April 16th by Professor Alan Trivier, and the first case was a, actually a landmark in the history of interventional cardiology. And before that, since I was working with Professor Alan Trivier, I saw the, the previous trials, especially in animals, and then of course the valve which was being developed with him in Paris. And therefore I was part of the treatment a part of the research, not completely but at least partially, when it was being developed in France with the help of Professor Alan Trivier leading the role. So April 16, 2002 was the first patient which was conducted by him as you can see here. And this patient was a very high risk patient and it was refused by cardiac surgeons. When the cardiac surgeon refused, the disease, I will let me tell you what it is, what it is for. It is for the treatment of degenerative aortic valve stenosis a degenerative aortic valve stenosis where aortic valve get stenosed and therefore heart is not able to pump the blood equally good to the rest of the body and this leads to symptoms of syncope symptoms of unconsciousness that means sometimes angina and then eventually leads to heart failure these patients are normally elderly beyond 60 years of age and this elderly population is increasing worldwide with the lifespan going up and well, it is well known these patients normally do not survive more than five, six months to two years if they are not treated. These patients are normally candidate for surgical aortic valve replacement but unfortunately if the patient who is, well, who is elderly and who has also have comorbid conditions like nephropathy or lung disease or sometimes concomitant bypass surgery requirement or heart graft, already graft, or the patient has coronary artery disease. This makes the surgical aortic valve replacement very high, with a high risk. Not only high risk, sometimes the surgeons refuse because they don't want a death on the table or in the post-operative phase. So these patients normally continue on medical treatment and when the medical treatment continues, this patient lifespan is limited and they don't survive more than six months to one year. So this non-surgical technique of transcatheter aortic valve implantation has been a boon to these patients who are otherwise very high risk or refused by, by, by the surgeons. And as I told you, this was developed first in Rua in France in 12 April, 16 April 2000, 
two when it was done. And till now, more than 200,000 patients have been operated worldwide. And with more than 80 centers in the whole world, including Europe, US, Mexico, and some parts of the Australia and New Zealand. Unfortunately, this technique is still not available in India or Southeast Asia. The reason is that it's not the technical expertise or we have, we have experts which are lacking, but the reason is some type of protocol by the Edward company which has to be followed by the different government regulations in India and other countries. But soon it will be coming up. So let me tell you a little more about this technique. This technique, here the patient is lying down conscious. The procedure, the procedure takes about more, not more than one hour, maximum time 40 minutes, 45 minutes in expert hands. Just like an angioplasty, the patient groin, there is a small, small puncture which is done from the groin. Groin means, of course, the upper part of the thigh. And then, with the help of a catheter, which is about 14 French to 18 French size, which is a little more than what we do coronary angioplasty, when we do angioplasty of the coronary arteries. And then, of course, the catheter goes up from the descending aorta to the ascending, descending aorta, then arch of aorta, and then, of course, the ascending aorta and to the valve. The whole procedure is done in expert hand with not more than one hour. And this technique, the, while the patient is almost fully conscious, of course partially sedated. And the, the, the patient, the maximum patient which has lived beyond that is about seven to eight years. We did a case from India flying down to France in November 2012 and that was the first Indian patient to receive this value and is still living very well. By chance he is hospitalized today in our hospital for some sort of a lung infection. He is doing perfectly alright. It's more than four years. So I will tell you that this technique is very important in saving the lives of the patients who are diseased. There have been a lot of registries and trials. You see any technique has to be backed by uh, registries which are of course the patients who are followed up for a few years and the randomized trials. The first trial, which was of course when new technique is up there, then you have to have a trial comparing with the previous technique. So TAVI, which was a new technique, which is non-surgical, has to be compared with the surgical technique, which was surgical open heart surgery and replacing the valve. The first randomized trial was partner one trial, which was conducted in USA and European countries, about more than 50 centers were involved, and then partner two trial. And these two trials confirmed not only the non-inferiority, that means it was not inferior than the surgical aortic valve replacement, but also almost comparable result as compared to surgical valve replacement, not only in high risk, but also in intermediate risk patients. High risk means the patient is having lung disease associated or the patient is having also a nephropathy or a brain or stroke or bypass surgery, all these things make it high risk. But intermediate risk are those patients who can be done by surgical surgery. That means surgeon will not refuse it. And these patients are very important because of course surgery is always surgery and here you are doing with a non-surgical technique. So this trial, partner 2 trial compared, the uh, 2B, that compared the intermediate risk patients versus surgical aortic valve replacement where the surgeon has not refused it and they found non-inferiority and almost comparable result. So almost it is proven that this TAVI technique is as good as surgical valve replacement a normal partner 3 trial has been introduced recently where they will be comparing the surgical aortic valve replacement with TAVI in a normal risk patients or low risk patients. Low risk patient means the patient does not have any other disease. A surgeon can do the surgery very well. Surgeon will not refuse it. And in fact the patient of course are being treated of the normal risk patient day in and out all over the world by surgical open heart surgery in all cases of degenerative aortic valve stenosis. When you are comparing this new technique with of those patients who can be take, treated with a surgical valve replacement, then of course the things will be much brighter. The, similarly, we can compare this bypass surgery versus stent, angioplasty and stent for the coronary artery blockage. Earlier, bypass surgery was doing too much, too many patients were doing that by bypass surgery. Now, angioplasty and stent is almost replaced bypass surgery, except for a few percentage of patients which are having, requiring more than 5 stents, 10 or 6 stents of multiple blockages. But in TAVI similarly, TAVI which is a valve replacement without opening the chest, again is being compared with a normal risk aortic valve stenosis where if it is proved that this TAVI technique with the Edward valve 
can be almost a replacement for the surgical aortic valve replacement and this will be a really good news for the degenerative aortic valve stenosis and the results will be announced I think within two years time. The, cohort, the randomization has been started recently. So let me summarize this. Transcatheter aortic valve replacement is a technique where without opening the chest, without opening the heart, without giving, giving a general anesthesia. This is important. Let me tell you one thing. Still, some American centers are giving general anesthesia for procedure of tummy. But I think soon they are coming up. The European center, especially Professor Alan Premier, I have scrubbed many times with him in many cases in France and especially with my patient as well. They don't give any general anesthesia. There is no general anesthesia team inside the lab. There are hardly four people inside the lab. It's just like an angioplasty. Of course, it requires a little more workup previously and also a more learning curve and expertise. So I was summarizing this. Transcatheter aortic valve implantation is a technique where you did one more thing which I want to tell you. They don't replace the valve, they don't take out the new the earlier valve, they put a new valve at the place of the disease valve, and then of course the things the, the new valve works almost as efficiently as the previous one. I was summarizing now the transcatheter aortic valve implantation is a technique which is a great boon for the diseased aortic valve stenosis in elderly patients more than 60, 65 or 70 years where otherwise surgical aortic valve replacement is a high risk or intermediate risk and this technique has almost potentially replaced the surgical technique in all high risk patients as well as intermediate risk patients and this technique is done by expert hand within 40 minutes or 1 hour patient is discharged the third day there is no prolonged anticoagulation required. Patient lives very well, happy. The heart functions come back to normal. And patient is discharged the third day. And we have the results now comparing in the normal list patients. And soon the results will be available. And this is a great boon and one of the most important revolution in the angioplasty technique. Evolved, of course, the first case was done by Professor Alan Premier, who is likely to get a Nobel Prize soon. He has done a lot of innovations. I am myself privileged not only to be working with him earlier, or trained by him, but also to be having very close, friendly relationship with him. He keeps coming to India and we hope that we start the first case in Apollo Hospital with his help as soon as the Edwards clears his availability in India. Thank you very much.